Yeah, they're on. Put a little bit of thought into this, but not much because I haven't had a lot of time. Um, but I'm trying to boil this down to, to the essence and not uh, get distracted by side issues. Um, cause and effect and free will and how they're related um, and your position and my position, I, if you can call them positions. Uh, I mean, your position, I take it so far as to be such that you don't, uh, you don't say that we can assert for sure that there is free will or that free will is the case. And you don't say that we can assert for sure that free will is not the case. <clears throat> um, and that's, um, that's fine. That's a valid position. I have nothing, I have no disagreement with that position. Um, those that assert free will is definitely the case. Um, I, I would uh, pick a bone with, I guess, because I don't think uh, there's enough uh, evidence for it, and there's plenty of, of doubt. As you pointed out, uh, relative certainty, uh, I don't know what that doesn't apply to. I would say that's um, a principle that could be applied to just about everything. Whether asserting something, the existence of something, or the non-existence of something. But uh, why is it such an issue with me, and why do I feel that I I need to uh, to keep revisiting it? Uh, why aren't I satisfied with being able to say that I just can't? know for sure and leave it at that and go about my daily life as I would um, and leaving the issue aside. Of course, that's what I do most of the time. <laughs> um, but there are times, there are just these moments when um, I begin really thinking about how I'm making my decisions and what factors are going into them and how my behavior is coming about, and um, I have a little experience with meditation, not a lot, but enough to know that, <clears throat> enough to know what the concept of subtle body means, and enough to know how small sensations in the body are linked to thoughts and emotions, and thought fabrication processes, if you will. Um, so I've uh, experienced firsthand the links between physical sensations and uh, thoughts, and feelings, and emotions, and the connections between them. And uh, I just don't see that it's possible to not have something that's, or rather, I don't see that it's possible to have something that's dis integrated, that's not connected. And so the integration of the connection uh, really is the foundation for me for doubting this uh, idea of free will. Um, <clears throat> and saying that dichotomies aren't that clean, you have an excellent point. I tend to agree with you there as well. And as for making the classic mistake of um, pointing to the unexplained and saying that's where your beliefs reside, um, I see that's not necessarily what, what you're doing. Uh, because if you were doing that, um, you would be asserting that free will does exist, does indeed exist, but you're only asserting that we can't prove that it does not. And I'm not really saying that I have ultimate proof that it doesn't <laughs> either, but I'm, I, I really am saying that it, it just really seems uh, 
unreasonable, unreasonable. But um, all of these uh, concepts of physics that we've discovered go against common sense. They're unreasonable as well. And um, you know, it's uh, it's really a challenge to think about the world in a different way. What is it that? Uh, there's a quotation by Michael Binner. This goes something to the effect. I think it's, uh, we don't see the world as it is. We see the world as we are. I think there's a lot of truth to that. And if our brains were constructed differently, or if our bodies were constructed differently, uh, our brain-body system, the environment, um, we would perceive reality a lot differently. Maybe we would even be in touch with a reverse flow of time or hyper time types of... Uh, maybe we would develop intuitions or common sense ideas that are in touch with um, such things as relativity and far out ideas of physics that, seem, that don't seem uh, to be in line with common sense as we are. Uh, as human beings. So, yeah, there's a lot of open ends. Thanks for reminding me of that. A lot of possibilities to existence. And it's good to, to remember that. Thanks.